So, welcome to Fallout 1, the beast. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, this is Conrad. He's been locked up in a cage all his life. Some kind of genetic freak. Very, very dangerous guy. But um, I wouldn't say he's uh, evil. He's like beyond or maybe maybe beneath good and evil. He is more like a very, very dangerous, dangerous, dangerous child. And perhaps easily offended. Um, these are the attributes. And uh, I know some of you guys are thinking maybe that, uh, oh, you shouldn't have more than strength, blah, blah, power armor, etc. Uh, I'm not thinking like that. The, he's a goddamn genetic freak. And uh, so he'll start with 10 strength. We don't care about that uh, power armor efficiency stuff on this channel. And uh, let's see. Our traits. Fast shot. He's uh, also a brutal kind of guy. He doesn't go for aimed shots, more just bashing people. Uh, and I chose Jinxed mostly because of this first line here. Mayhem seems to follow you everywhere. I was like, yes, that's Conrad. And uh, <laughs> uh, there basically were only four possible skills to tag. Since he's just been locked up and given cave rats. <laughs> and uh, that's his favorite food, by the way. And uh, so uh, there were only four pure f physical skills. Unarmed, melee, throwing and sneak. And I figured these three were the most fitting. Because I'm thinking of this guy almost like a... Yeah, like a some kind of predator, almost. So, uh, yeah, I'm super happy about this. Let's, let's just see what happens. So, uh, this is going to be a completely blind run. Uh, <laughs> which is going to be very interesting since, like always on this channel, I'm not going to reload when bad stuff happens. I'm just going to try to deal with it, even if companions die. So, <laughs> that's going to be very interesting. Since, uh, also because with a character like this, I don't even know. I don't even know if the it, it's possible to finish the game like this. So uh, combine that with no reloading and uh, a blind run. This is going to be a real, real challenge. Which I'm uh, that that's what I find the most fun. So sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Let me do go through all the trouble. I have. Uh, this is. Uh, I mean, just for the sake of being uh, completely transparent, I played, I guess, maybe two, three hours of this and uh, then realized my audio settings were really bad. So I've seen, I've seen uh, Shady Sands and uh, the Raiders and Junk Town. I, I couldn't find a, well, I don't know, I shouldn't spoil it. No, I, I'll, I'm, I'm not going to say anything more than that. But uh, I've seen the very earliest part of, parts of the game. Yeah, so I, I was planning my Fallout 2 series, which I have a really good idea for. Uh, I'm uh, planning on doing that sort of like intelligence-based mechanic, inventor, crafter dude making his own bombs and traps and s strange contraptions and then using that to just uh, go vigilante style and go after all the criminals of the world. Sort of like a really good but mad bomber professor. <laughs> so, uh, and when I was planning that, I realized I have to do this great series of games justice by starting from the beginning. And uh, so I went the complete opposite route in terms of character. Uh, took me a few days to come up with something that I found interesting and challenging. And uh, I know I w was looking on YouTube and I saw a couple of guys have made these kinds of stupid character runs. But uh, I think this is going to be... S uh, there's going to be an extra twist to this. First off, I'm not going to role playing like a... Just a funny idiot character. <laughs> he's gonna be, he's gonna be a true beast, very dangerous, and just do whatever he pleases and follow his impulses. And uh, 
I noticed when I the first little bit I played that it's like playing a time ticking time bomb because <laughs> the way I think about these runs is I'm gonna try to stay true to character and if he gets like an impulse or someone insults him we're just gonna <laughs> just gonna react to it and <laughs> don't care about the consequences which is very interesting <laughs> Like I said, very unforgiving in this game. Yeah, and guys, if you're thinking that there's no crafting in Fallout 2, you'd be correct, but uh, there is in a mod called Economy and Combat Rebalanced. I think it's called that. And uh, I've tested it out, it looks absolutely amazing. You can make your own traps and bombs and drugs and explosives. And it's so perfect for a game like this. And so perfect for a kind of a mad scientist, uh, trapper, vigilante. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And this as well, it's gonna be so fun. Okay, hello stranger, welcome to Shady Sands. Good day, I'm called Seth. How can I help you? Rub, rub. Not very bright, eh? Well, watch out for the rad scorpions and stay out of trouble. Trouble. Scorpion? Are you sure you want to go want me to give you directions to the rad scorpion caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Well, we won't go now because um I think we need antidote or at least uh, some uh, more maybe a level or stim packs. Welcome to Shady Sands, Traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to gr greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Whoa. It is a pity that, that you're, you are dim-witted. We will have difficulty understanding each other. I hope the others in your vault are not like you. Did he try to say water? Water? Wubba. Wubba. Wubba wall. <laughs> Probably... Water vault? Yes, I can tell you are from a vault. You have that look about you. I came from vault 15 to the east, but I had to leave my home and now I live here. Hopefully you will find what you're looking for, even if it's just another place to live. I hope that your vault did not kick you out due to your wits. I do hope there's another reason. Um, please be nice to the people here. We mean you no harm. Ah. Uh. Okay, so guys, if any one of you are new to the Fallout games, this is such a goddamn genius thing. The reason he is talking like this is because he has so... When you have this kind of super low intelligence, you can't even communicate. You can just grunt and make sounds, basically. And I realized when I played the first uh, little bit of this, and that... Uh, this is gonna be so extremely hard because we basically can't get any info at all. And all the places I found was just through random uh, walking around on the map. Not so fast. This is a small community. We don't see strangers often and we don't really need them if you get my meaning. If you don't have a good reason to be here, you'd better just keep moving. Okay, uh, this is basically what happens. Everyone, you can't get quests or anything. Sorry, I don't have time to waste on morons. Um, yeah. It's... It's super, super hard. There's a book here. Ah, oh, this is so fun. Look at this. I mean, they thought of everything. We found a cat's paw magazine. But this guy... I'm assuming this is because of his low intelligence. It's... The thing is... Uh, you have no idea. Upon further inspection, you still have no idea what this is. It weighs one pound. <laughs> it's so genius. Scout handbook. And guys, it's also the combination. I mean, doing a blind run in a game that centers around information and talking to people and we're completely unable to. <laughs> we can't even communicate with anyone. Uh, I've seen Brahmin with more brain cells than you. Well, let's see if you're wounded. You seem fine to me, perhaps later then. Yes. Please do not take my things. Okay. 
Hello, I'm sorry but I'm not feeling too well right now. Please, if you can help find a way to fight the rad scorpions, talk to my brother Seth. Okay, uh, this town, if you don't get it already, has a problem with rad scorpions. And um, we'll do that quest in a while. We still need to expand the irrigation. Okay, they need water here. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Mm -hmm. Hmm. You may enter, but stay out of trouble. Okay. There's another talking head here. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I have to stand over here now. Okay, she doesn't want to talk to me. Just take this. Hey, it's obviously not going to be a thief, but he'll just uh, <laughs> see what he likes and then pick it up. Did we? Yeah. Hello, Wanderer. I trade and sell goods to the fine people of Shady Sands. Would you like to see my wares? Er. Yeah, we'll press barter. Okay. Well, he has a couple of stim packs. Try to buy that. Wow, is it, he's expensive. Hmm. This seems like a bad price, but yeah, whatever. This guy is not someone to make very good business decisions, I guess. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. Mm -hmm. Rope and a scout handbook. That's good. There's more stuff down here. A sledgehammer and uh, a rope. Let's see how good the sledgehammer is compared to. brass knuckles 4 to 14 but I guess this is uh, 3 action points but it's probably better anyway so much higher damage or I guess not it needs to be no this is better no actually it's not because we have a Three, we have a, We waste one action point with these, and with the sledgehammer, we'll use all nine. So let's head back uh, to Vault 15. Rad Scorpions. Okay, let's see how tough these are. Whoa, this is not good. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> okay, I don't think poison is gonna be that rough on us because we have so high endurance and that um, affects poison resistance so I think we'll be fine oh, you take damage from poison let's use our first aid skill then ah oh, the poison has left our system so we're good to go now Okay guys, 
I think this is a good spot to end the first episode. Uh, if you are as excited about this as I am, then please press like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.